everyone, this is Rachel and I am here with a layout share and killer kit video for my Christmas and July kit that I made to work on in July. Now there will be process videos for these layouts coming up in August, maybe one by the end of July, but I highly doubt it. Um, but I wanted to put this video up in July just to show that I did actually work through it. I did four layouts from this kit and I wanted to show you what I used completely up and what I made a really... Okay, I'm going to go check on that and see what happened. Okay, so that was actually uh, the bag of dog food, the 14 pound bag of dog food spilling over and dumping out about a good half of what was left in there onto the floor. Uh, my nephew had picked up something from around there and it had accidentally tilted over and he didn't realize, so he is now cleaning that up. <laughs> All right, let's move back to my layouts. As I said, I got four done. My first one is this one called Christmas Light, and I'm talking about how we did not do a ton of decorating. <laughs> I'm in my dining room and the mail person is coming up to deliver the mail right now and I'm just basically talking to nothing. Okay, bye guy. Okie dokie. All right, so I love the way this one turned out. I love this background piece. This is actually the inspiration piece for the entire kit. And um, with this one, I managed to use up the enamel candy canes that I'd had sitting around for a while. Next up, I have this two photo layout. And this uses a pebbles piece of paper that I had bought originally to use for a Christmas concert. Just, you know, I didn't have a specific Christmas concert in mind and it worked out for this particular one. Next up, I did this one called Prep and Planning. And I'm just talking about uh, something that happened between myself and uh, my nephew and a, a little just fun story about something we did. I'll go more into it when I actually do the process video. I just want to show you the layout. I did a lot of little embellishment clusters here and I was super proud that I managed to use all of the flair I had added into the kit. Oh, I also managed, sorry, I forgot to mention, I did manage to use up that one brad that I'd had, I'd pulled into the kit simply because there's only one brad on the entire and then I get a phone call. So I think we have hit the triad of interruptions. Um, giant thing falling, person randomly showing up, and a phone call. <laughs> that can happen whilst making a video. Alrighty then, you guys are getting a mixed bag here. As I was saying, I did use up that one single brad that I had on the, it was from a My Mind's Eye, no, it was from Teresa Collins, and I had just that one brad left. So I managed to use that up. And then here is my last one. I actually just did this one right before I'm making this video. And it uses one five by seven photo. And I'm super happy. I remembered, I had a hard time with the title, not with the words for the title, but finding the right alphas for it. And I'm happy with the way it turned out. So yippee yay. Those are my four layouts. And now let me share with you what I have left. So I mentioned that I used up the enamel candy canes from the Pink Paisley Yuletide collection. I also used up the one brad I had left from the Teresa Collins. I also used up this sticker sheet from My Mind's Eye, and this was comfort and joy. I actually even used, this was um, like the title of the thing and I fussy cut that out because I, I knew it was on sticker paper. So, but I used up that. I also used up these circle stickers that came in a snap pack from Simple Stories. Um, these were, I think these were 2000, 2013 or 2015. I do not remember which. All right, so those are what I used up, and this is what I used of the rest of this. From that same snap, back by, snap pack by Simple Stories, I do have this alpha. I did not use a ton of it, but I did manage to use it once in my layouts. I have these Teresa Collins Tinsel & Company tags. I believe I only have three left. I used around four of them. 
yes, I have three and a half left. So I'm, I'm happy with the amount of use I got out of those. I did use several of these My Mind's Eye Sugar Plum Foam Stickers. I only have four left and these are definitely quite usable. So when it comes time to doing Christmas layouts after the Christmas comes up at the end of this year, I will definitely be able to use those. These are the Pink Paisley Yuletide ephemera pieces. They are acetate and cardstock. I have a couple of tags and a couple of smaller, oh, I forgot that sticker was on there. It's supposed to go on this layout, <laughs> but I forgot about it because I had moved it because I needed to, well, if you watch the process video, you'll, you'll know the silly thing I did. Anyway, so there's just a couple of small acetate pieces left, one cardstock piece, and then those tags. So I'm very happy with the amount I used up of that one. And then I have these two 12 by 12 sticker packs. This was an older one from Claws and Company by Simple Stories. This was 2015, and I used quite a bit of it in the black alpha. I don't believe I used any of these smaller ones. And then this is from Photoplay Dear Santa. This was their uh, release in 2017. And I actually, this was brand new except for one layout. And so I actually used quite a bit of it. I'm super happy. I actually still have several pieces of paper left of this line. So I'm perfectly okay with having this amount left. My dog just realized I'm in here talking to no one, so she's looking for who I'm speaking to. And as to paper, this is all I have left. This one is from a Heidi Swap paper pad, and this is a little bit left over of uh, a photo play Dear Santa paper. So I used up the majority of my paper. So I'm not going to save this. I don't see a reason to. I've got plenty of tone on tone paper from that Heidi Swap line, so I think I am good to go on that. All right, folks, so that is the Killer Kit portion of my video for my Christmas in July kit that I made, and I hope you enjoyed If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and if you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Have a great day. Bye!